In August 2000, the pride of the Russian Northern Fleet, the nuclear submarine Kursk, sank to the bottom of the Barents Sea after two explosions rocked the torpedo room. All 118 crew were lost, but they didn't die instantly. Some survived in air pockets, writing final notes to loved ones, waiting for rescue, and the world offered help immediately. British and Norwegian divers had the gear and experience to attempt a recovery. NATO navies were on standby, but Russia said no. Why? Pride. The Russian Navy insisted they could handle it. They downplayed the scale, lied to the public, even to the families. Days passed. By the time they admitted they needed help, five days later, it was too late. Divers finally reached the wreck and found only bodies. It wasn't just a disaster, it was a cover-up, one rooted in Soviet-era secrecy. President Vladimir Putin, just months into his first term, refused to leave his holiday. His approval ratings took a hit, but more importantly, trust in the Russian Navy shattered. The tragedy wasn't just the explosion, it was the deliberate delay. Help was available. But the Kremlin chose image over lives. If this story of silent death chilled you, like and subscribe for more real-life failures behind military walls.